Pasu and welcome back to another review. And today I want to talk a bit about Tsukiga Kire, the pure romance show of the spring season. And good lord, it was such a fluffy, comfy, beautiful, heartwarming ride. It's it's kind of impossible to hate it, to be honest. We didn't get really hardcore, unnecessary drama to keep us hooked, but we got a lot of confidence and it drew me in and it was hard to not be into it the way I was and also the characters, especially the two main characters. Man, I love it when it's a show where there isn't a love triangle or a harem, but just two characters falling in love with each other and going all the way through to a super satisfying and beautiful ending. But let me talk a bit about the weakness of the show and the weakness of this show is without a doubt the way it looked. Not the character design in itself, but the way the animation was when we got CG for basically every character except two or three characters who were kinda in the mainframe. And also, what is up with those white thing that... Is it supposed to be a light reflection or something like this? I don't know. It really looked out of place. So the characters, they looked a bit more like plastic or something like this. But except this, this is literally my only complaint about the show. The way it looked. But except this, the atmosphere, the soundtrack, the characters, especially Azumi and Akane, the two main characters, Good lord, it was great. It was so beautiful and I enjoyed yeah, pretty much every second of it. And you know, it is one of those shows you don't need really hard drama to enjoy it, to be hooked, because it is so strong on its own, you don't need stuff to spice it up. So we have Azumi, the male main character. He is, well, really really quiet and a bit on the shy side. But he's also kinda bookworm, he's reading a lot, he is also writing. But he gets pretty much turned down every single time he is handing in a manuscript and to get it published. To the point where the an editor is like, well, you know about light novels, right? Try to write them. And then there's also another guy, it's the bookstore dude. I totally forgot his name, sorry, but let's just go with bookstore dude. And he's an owner of a bookstore, but he is pretty much a solid character in its own. He is giving some advice to Azumi, but not to the point where you are like, oh god, another heavy dialogue advice. He is just giving two or three lines and that's it. Simple advice that is pretty much spot on for pretty much every single situation it is needed. Akane on the other side, well, even though she's a bit quiet and also a bit on the shy side, I would say, she is, well, pretty much a sports girl. She's into running, pretty much the athletic type, and when she's wearing her ponytail, she looks pretty damn good. Psht, just saying. But the way she fell in love with Azumi and the way it developed, it was you know this clumsy, cute, the first laugh and you're like, 
Oh gosh, it is so clumsy and yet so cute. Oh god. So, it is kind of like watching a penguin walking. You know it looks really, really awkward, but you can't help but find it totally cute. And throughout the story we had here and there a little bit of drama. And they were also not saying out loud that they are in a relationship to their friends, because it it is kind of embarrassing for them, so... Yeah, and there are others who don't really get why they are in a relationship, but who the fuck cares? The love falls, well, in that direction where you can't really have a hand in it. And I think it is really, really nice how similar both of the two main characters are and yet how different and it is really really cute to see how they are writing and being happy with those really simple things and then we are getting to the point holding hands for the first time or the first kiss and we're like oh so cute but in the end we are getting from getting to know each other, falling in love getting into a relationship, holding hands, the first kiss, and then in the end we are getting a marriage and also we get to see their baby and man this is one of those shows you are just happy in the end that you have watched it. And I've heard a bit of a complaint about the support characters who are confessing their feelings along the way and people are complaining about it but I'm like, why? Sorry that they are characters who have emotions as well and they have a crush on them even though they, their crush is in a relationship. And it's another sports guy who said the line that is equivalent to well, suicide in a romance show and it is one of those famous lines like I know you longer, I know you better, and I love you longer than anyone else. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, dude, go uh, go home and shut up. So, yeah, but it is a complaint. Nah, not really, because he was turned down, and Akan is one of her best friends. She has a crush on Azumi, and she confessed as well, but was also turned down. And... Then we had also a bit of the drama with Ark and his father getting a new job in a different prefecture and the family moved there. So Azumi tried to get into that high school there uh, but he failed the entrance exam and well he is stuck home and so he was a bit in a slump and when one of the all the bookstore guy said kinda like well why not write about it? And Azumi started to write a web novel how he met Akane and basically Roman story and it got, it got quite popular and Akane also commented on it with the words well how is it going to continue? What's happening next? And then she was on the train and she saw the update, read it and she started to cry. Azumi, he tried to see her but he didn't catch the train and then he was there next to the railway. But yeah, Akane didn't really see him. But then we get basically the full ending with the different shots of them being in high school, then probably college, job hunt or interviews, getting work, and then to the point where the marriage and in the end the whole family and friends together and Akane and Azumi holding their baby and good lord this is one of those ending it is super super satisfying you're watching the ending and you're like that's it perfect spot on you it's not one of those cliffhanger endings where you're like, okay, uh, what's happening next? Will they still be together? Will they not? Or it's not one of those, well, go and buy the source material endings as well. 
because it's an original show, it has a start and it has an ending. And it is super. I liked it a lot and this is literally all I can say about it. It is so beautiful, you just have to enjoy it and go with the flow of the show. It is, well, really slow paced, but the slow pacing, it is really enhancing the experience of the show, so yeah, go and watch it if you're like into a pure Roman story with a nice satisfying ending. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.